what up, YouTube world? It's your boy G-Shock Warrior, G-Dub, three ones. Coming at you with the second installment of the White Sleeve collab. This one with the blue dot in it. Yeah, if you don't know about this, and y'all messing up. <laughs> nah, but before I get started, let me get a, give a huge, huge shout out to Jeremy, my boy. Instagram, YouTube, we keep in touch, we text every day. Homeboy from Texas, he helped me out. This is actually his watch. He had the decency and the courtesy to ship it out to me so I could do a review, and then I can send it back to him. We're currently working on getting one for me, but that's not the case yet, and I didn't want you guys to wait on this on this um, review. I know Star Remixes is one. Shout out to them guys, but this is a piece that hits a spot for me, and I couldn't wait. So. Again, thanks, Jeremy. Really appreciate it, my boy. Um, as you can see, there's only 100 of these. This is number 10 of them. It's an Anthony and Allison collab. A lot of people did not like this watch. There's a lot of people that, you know, um, criticized it um, more bad than good. But I'll get into a little bit of detail about why this watch is what it is. Anthony and Allison, they're UK designers. Um, only work in black and white, as you can see. They come in the collab box. <laughs> glossy box as you can see you can see the light hitting it um this like i said this is number 10 of 100 Anthony and allison and it says right there before i even show you the watch um signed piece um the boxes are done i believe individually the boxes are different are all different but as far as the watches goes the watches um look like they were done individually like they look like they were done with a sharpie or something, but the watches are actually a print. Um, if you haven't seen this piece, get on it. But there's only a hundred of these, so they don't come cheap. And as they sell out, you're gonna see resellers selling them for a lot more. But like I like I was telling you guys, the watch looks like it was done with a sharpie, but it's actually not. Um, if you actually look at pictures of this watch and you look at everybody else's, the print is all the same, the pattern is the same. <clears throat> which means these black stripes they're all the same on every watch so this was a printing and if you look up close and personal you can see that it was a print it wasn't written on or anything this is actually just an NB7 to the W6900 NB7 that I need a Dr. Eminem piece and then because you can see look the reptile skin there and then Anthony and Allison did their work on the band um, beautiful, beautiful watch. This watch is very unique. A lot of people said, oh, I could do a better job with a Sharpie. No names. And I love most of the people that said this. But the thing with this piece is, this is Anthony and Allison's style. If you look at the box, it says Digital Watch for Casio, Anthony and Allison up top. And it's just a bunch of scribble everywhere. <clears throat> that is their style. If you look at their clothing, this is the, the plastic the watch came in, by the way. If you look at their clothing, you look at their brand, you look at all their stuff, this is what it is. Their website looks like it was handwritten. This is Anthony and Allison's style. You cannot ask somebody to change their style just to do a collaboration with another company. The reason the company wants to do a collab with them is because of what got them here. This is what got Anthony and Allison this far. Why ask them to change anything on the watch? Exactly. So with that being said, everything looks like it was handwritten with a Sharpie, but that's not the case because it was printed on. So they probably did it on one, took the the, um, the design for the print, and then printed 100 of them. It's perfectly fine, because the battle of the year was 99, and it was done the same way. It was printed on 99 of them on a model that was already existing. So why does everybody knock this piece, but not the battle of the year and all the other pieces that were just printed on the band? Makes no sense. But this is your NV7. You guys know it. You guys seen it everywhere. It's the most common of the white watches. I'll show you the teal backlight if you would like. There it is. Nothing new. Really short review because I'm ready for work. I gotta go in like T minus five minutes, but so be it. But like I said, the box is just a bunch of scribble. Um but it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful watch. And for the comparison, this one's from Monty, who tried to tell me they were different. You go buddy. This obviously is mine. I have one of these. Everybody knows that. And then you want to put it up close and personal. It's like big brother, big. It's like big brother, little brother kind of thing. Um, don't worry, Jeremy. I'm not hurting your watch. All right, hold on. Let me get one, two, 
and then hold them down. And now the camera's being dark for some reason. There it is. Okay. Ah. Oh, thank you. 6900 for staying. Oh, come on. All right, well, here you go. Completely different. This being a pattern on the Maharishi, and then the 6900 being more of a zebra striped, not pattern, it's kind of just stripes, while this one actually has a concept to it. But yeah, both beautiful, beautiful watches. Um, yeah, the reviews I've been making lately are no joke. You got a, two, a one out of two hundred, one out of two thousand babe, one out of fifty Soho piece, one out of um ninety nine Battle of the Year, one of what we believe is a thousand Manhattan Portage pieces. But again, that hasn't been confirmed. And then here we are up close and personal with the Anthony and Allison and the Maharishi. Ah, aha, I got you good fuckers to stay. Maharishi being um, matte, NV7 of course being glossy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful watches. I actually sold my NV7, so I don't have one. So if I do get a, ch um, a chance to pick up the Antony and Allison, it'd be like having an NV7 back. Model number? <laughs> I don't think anybody knows it, to be honest. DW6900, Why? I would believe it's AA7. But don't quote me. Um, yeah. Um, yep, yeah, doesn't say the model number. It does obviously have a 3230 module. And Jeremy told me it did not come with a tag. So that's that. Um, it comes with some other stuff, some postcard, an actual personal letter signed by Anthony and Allison. It's a really significant watch for most people, and I would love to have this watch in my collection one day. And I quote me, I will. But what can we do? Right? Um if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me. It's G underscore D U B one one one. Post bunch of G Shock related things. I'm waiting on a package from Danny. That's gonna be huge. Talk about shock in the world. Um, shock the world's next Wednesday, August seventh. If you guys didn't know the event in New York City, it's in Basketball City. Um, yeah, uh, my birthday is the 8th, which is the day after. Bummer, I know. Um, yeah, so shout out to everybody who's going. Have fun. Keep it safe. Don't do anything stupid. Please, if you can score a piece, do a review. Danny, that goes out to you. Go ahead and do it. Shout out to all the little people we always shout out. Um, ooh, hey, I forgot to show you all this. Just got this airbrush. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that. Thanks to Out of This World Creations for the airbrush on the red hoodie shocked the world as you can see the owl on the back if you don't know about the owl you, you obviously ain't in the right circle but yeah i'm done i'm signing off i should have some videos on the way for you guys don't worry about that i always do Ugh, but i gotta get ready for work i gotta go pay some bills macy's is looking serious by me too can have some garish blacks that would have been bad you're going back in the box. Um, got some garish golds, got some black and whites. They got the Joy Rage, some new baby G's. Uh, look, G Shock's some big things to close off this 30th anniversary. But like I always say, don't follow your dreams, chase them. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to everybody, mostly Danny, Corey, and Tycho. Love those people from the bottom of my heart. Uh, keep moving on forward, all right? Appreciate.